Welcome to this new Visual Basic lesson. In today's lesson, we will learn about variables and constants. So, what are variables? Variables are storage location in memory. Variables hold data or information and can be referred to by their names in code. Every variable has three properties, a name, a data type and a value. Constants are just like variables, but their values do not change, as their name implies. The value of a constant remain the same throughout the execution of the program. Every constant has a name a data type and a value just like variables let's go to Visual Studio and work with some examples I have started a new project called it variables and constants project I have a form here and I changed its text property to say variables and constants a button control and changed its text property to say display message box and its name to btn display I'm gonna come here double click the button to create a click event and uh, let's uh, learn how to declare variables basically to declare a variable you need to use the keyword dim and uh, dim uh, stands for define in memory or uh, declare in memory all right so that's what we're doing basically and we uh, give the variable a meaningful name so I'm gonna say number then we give it a data type as integer okay so basically what we did here we have declared a variable by using the keyword dim we gave the variable a name a meaningful name for us to remember it and we gave it a data type okay we can also assign a value to it by saying equals 20 now we are uh, assigning the number 20 to the variable number that's what we did here so 20 is stored in the variable number we can also do it this way so you come here and you say number equals 20 and that's correct as well okay so you can do it either in one line or two lines like this I'm gonna keep it simple I'm gonna keep it in one line so I come back here and say equals 20 all right when you declare variables you can also use the prefix and you come here and you say int and basically you come right here and turn this to capital int is the prefix for integer uh, str is prefix for a string dbl is prefix for double and so on but when you uh, use the prefix it is recommended that you change the first letter of the name to a capital letter and this is called camel case if the name is longer than this for example say number one like that so the first letter of the second word should be also capitalized like that okay let's uh, remove this here and go back and say number now there are certain rules that you need to be aware of rule number one is that you cannot use keywords for your variables so for example I cannot come here and say dim for example uh, string as integer all right it will tell me that this is a keyword and the keyword is not valid for you to use okay cannot use for example special characters such as the dollar sign for example if I say number and I put the dollar sign here this is not also allowed I cannot use the percent sign for example if I come here and use the percent sign that's not allowed as well all right the other thing is I'm not allowed to uh, put space for example if I do this number one as integer that is not allowed as well okay so to fix this I do this one like that or one word or 
I can put an underscore like that okay and the other rule that we need to be aware of is that uh, the variables cannot exceed 255 characters okay now to reference the variable in code we use its name let's uh, do this all right so I'm gonna come here sorry number I'm gonna come here and say message box that show and I'm gonna say number all right and I'm gonna run the code come here and click display and there it is okay this is how we reference the uh, variable in our code by using its name okay when it comes to uh, constants constants are just like variables as we said but there are things that uh, make the constant different from the variable number one as we said its value does not change for example if I go const tax rate as single uh, equals 0 0.065 okay what we did here we declared the constant and to declare a constant we don't use the dim keyword we use the const keyword okay that's one difference between the variable and the constant okay the second difference is it is recommended to use capital letters when declaring a constant and the second or the third uh, difference between the variable and the constant is that you have to initialize a value for a constant before you run the code uh, this is what we did here we said that tax rate equals to 6.5 percent uh, and we're gonna store this in the tax rate um, variable okay so this is something uh, important to know so these are the main differences between variables and constants okay constants don't have to be uh, numeric you can use also a string character for example if I'm gonna use the school name in my code and the school name usually doesn't change all right like the taxes don't usually change all right I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna say school underscore name equals as string sorry as string equals then of uh, all right and I can run this in code as well so to run it in code I'm gonna reference the name and I'm gonna say school name all right okay let's run this bring this here and I want to click we should uh, see the name garden of Sahaba and that it is so basically is the same thing uh, there are not much differences between variables and constants the last thing we're going to cover in this lesson is the scope of variable the scope of a variable is basically the ability to see it and manipulate it we have four scopes in visual basic number one we have the block scope and the block scope is when you declare variables here by for example coming here and saying for i as integer for example equals 0 to 5 then you come here and say next all right you don't have to worry about this I'm just showing you how what is a block scope and uh, basically this variable here is a block level variable because it is declared within uh, a procedure then we have the local scope and the local scope is this this is a local scope because it is inside this uh, procedure here then we have the uh, what we call the private scope private scope is basically when you come here and declare your variables here so you would say private st 
as string for example all right now this is uh, a private scope and basically this string variable here is a variable for all the uh, form here every procedure every uh, function inside this uh, form can see and access and manipulate the uh, st string the other scope which is the last one is the global scope or the public scope is basically by coming here and say public for example uh, n as integer and when you do that this n integer is available for all the forms that are in your uh, solution project so all the forms here will have access to this uh, public n integer and with this we come to the end of this lesson I thank you for watching and you have a good day.